What you guys got another video here for you. Now the last video I done was about uh, Peppermint OS 8 and uh, a lot of people wanted to know how to create the bootable flash drive so they could test it out. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to create your own bootable uh, USB flash drive with Peppermint OS 8 on it. Now you can use pretty much any distro by using this method so it doesn't matter whether it's Mint, Peppermint, uh, Ubuntu, any of those and it should work just fine. So first off, what you're going to need to do is get yourself a piece of software and we're going to be using Rufus for this one. And uh, another piece of software you're going to need is obviously the Peppermint. So you can get it from here and it's called peppermintos.com. Download the 32-bit or the 64-bit version. And if you want to download and purchase the uh, USB version, you can go here. But if you want to download these ones, you can do. Okay, either one of them, 32-bit or 64-bit. Now we've got that sorted out, let's go ahead and uh, open up our folder here. We've got the software inside here. I'm using the portable version, but you can download the installer version. And I've also got my Peppermint 64 bit here. So let's go ahead and uh, click on that Rufus there. Say yes to the user account control, and you'll get this uh, pop up coming up. And it says Rufus update policy. So click on more information here. Let me drop that down behind us. So we've got uh, include beta versions, no. Daily, check for updates. And I'm going to disable that and click close. And it says, do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? You can say yes if you want to. I'm going to say no. And I'm going to open this up. So here we have our application. Very easy. And it's already detected my SanDisk Ultra USB device, which is 32 gigabytes. So here we have the partition scheme and targeting system. Now this is going to depend on when you bought your PC and uh, how old it is. So you can see here, this top one, the MBR partition uh, scheme for BIOS or UEFI is probably your best bet to go for, okay? Because you're getting the best of both worlds, the old BIOS type or the UEFI BIOS. So that's the one we're going to go for. We're going to leave this on FAT32. Leaving it on here is just fine. And uh, you can see we've got a volume label of 32 gigabytes. We don't want that. So we want peppermint. So we're just going to put that in here. And I'm just going to put an 8. Now you can see here, uh, check device for bad blocks. This is going to check your uh, USB uh, device for any bad blocks. But I'm going to leave that um, out. And you've got the... Uh, other little tab here which you can uh, click on if you want to and this pulls this down as you can see here quick format is fine create a boot disk using FreeDOS we don't want that we want to change this to ISO image and then now we can click on this and locate our ISO straight away it's uh, gone to our location and we're going to select our ISO image and click open we're now pretty much ready to go. Uh, I've got my USB flash drive plugged in and ready to go. You can see everything's been sele selected right here and now click start. You'll get this pop-up message popping up here and it will say write an ISO image mode recommended. So we're just gonna say, okay. It's gonna warn you about all the data will be destroyed on that disk. And uh, I've got nothing on there that I need, so I'm going to click OK. If you do, you want to cancel here at this stage, otherwise you'll lose your data. So click OK, and that will then start to create that for us. It's very, very quick. Uh, so I'm just going to let this finish, and I'll come back when it's done. OK, so that is now being complete, and we can now close uh, Rufus off. And you should now be able to boot to your USB flash drive. Now to change your BIOS uh, selection there for your boot order, you will need to go into the BIOS or you can change it uh, via the F12 or F11 key and then change it there. I'll show you what that looks like on the screen here. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the boot device order. This is not the BIOS. So I can change uh, the uh, boot order by just going into this and it's the F11 on this MSI motherboard. Now the BIOS on mine would be the Dell key and I can go in there and change the boot order permanently to there. But this is temporarily changing it in the uh, boot device order. And it's easy enough to do. You just select on the USB flash drive and it will boot up and have, let you have a look at the uh, 
live environment that you choose. As long as you follow my video, you should be able to do that fine without wiping your uh, Windows uh, 10 operating system. It's always best to make a, a backup of your operating system just in case something goes wrong. I don't want to be held responsible for any of that stuff. So always make sure you make backups before you're messing around with this sort of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this one helps you out. That's basically how you can create your own uh, bootable uh, USB flash drive with uh, Peppermint OS 8. It also works with all other Linux uh, distros as well. Have a great weekend, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.